zero point energy devices could revolutionize the planet. If you can build a zero point energy reactor about the size of your microwave oven, put it in the back of your house somewhere, you run your house. You don't need to, you run all its electricity needs. You don't need to pull anything off the national grid. Well, if you put that into the third world, you're going to revolutionize the third world. That is as much a threat to some people as it is a benefit. And as far as the Hutchison effect goes, I'm rather disturbed that the U.S. government and aerospace corporations has it. The concerns of it being used for renewable force by the military-industrial complex disturbs me quite a bit. I like to see it used for the helping of nature because uh, there's so much pollution going on with nature. Mankind tends to want to fight each other all the time with wars, whereas Mother Nature rolls on with great energy and power. It's absolutely essential for the world, the survival of the world, that we get off petrochemicals. Uh, failure to do so it really threatens our national survival. This is basically what I'm talking about with finding energy where we never thought was energy. This is my little experiment table now. I've set it up um, just to show you. I'm going to experiment with electrical motors. I probably have to get a couple alternators from a car or something to experiment with those. That's going to take a longer, it's going to be a longer term for that one because I have to learn all about it and figure that out now. Uh, the other one was uh, how to how to um, extract energy from crystals, uh, from quartz crystals. Um, based off that video, John Hutchison was talking about uh, getting energy from the earth already. They were talking about zero point energy. And no matter what anybody says, you can find energy from rocks. And I've proved that to myself. This is one thing I was really anxious to do over the past couple of weeks was, tr was prove this for myself. We already have the technology available. They use it in lighters to create the spark to light the flame. That little spark in there lights the flame. And that's from quartz crystal. It's, in, it's inside the little trigger here. It knocks on it and it creates a spark. So there's energy inside quartz, inside quartz crystal it's called the piezoelectric effect and you can look that up in fact uh, those lighters are called piezo lighters or something I, I don't know but they but it's the uh, basically this is the the property uh, of, of quartz crystals it says the piezoelectric effect a, a property of extol by which mechanical stress produces electric charges. So the mechanical stress of the trigger on the lighter uh, knocks on it and it creates electric charges. That's why you create a spark. This shows you that we have the uh, technology available to extract electrical charges from quartz. And they have in all sorts of devices. There is a uh, frequency within uh, quartz that they use as well. Um, the most common things that they use to extract electricity from crystals um, are is number one, Rochelle salts. I don't have any of that. Tourmaline and then quartz. And this is all in um, priority of, of uh, of the most effective. Um, Rochelle salts very effective in uh, being able to create the electricity from that. Uh, tourmaline is the next one. It's not as strong. I mean it's a little bit stronger, tougher, but it's not as uh, you, you don't get as much as much as uh, Rochelle salts. And then quartz is the most commonly used because quartz is so hard and it's robust you can um, it's not as brittle as Rochelle salts or tourmaline and I didn't know any of this until I just did some research on it I went to Arizona 
Um, and then I'll tell you about the biodome that I went to in Arizona. And this is a very interesting concept. I'll do a separate video on this, but they had a actually a huge crystal um, that they had there, and it's very odd because of their reasoning for that. So I'm going to show you real quick the footage that I got of the biosphere. And the most interesting thing in there was this guy, this big old clump of crystal. So this is the oddity there because there really wasn't a particular reason that made sense, the reason why they had it there. Um, so I'm going to go through this with you on, the, on my video about the uh, biodome. And they had uh, a reason why they had it there, and they have plans to ship it off somewhere else, which that's what they said on the little sign there. But uh, there, this is a very interesting uh, video I'll have for later. It's, it's uh, very, very interesting situation here. A lot of questions I have about this. But uh, we'll just focus today on just showing you that this is real. So I, I had questions myself about it, and I even watched some videos about this guy knocking together some uh, some quartz together and it creating a light. Basically, just take a couple of these. Now this is quartz. It's not quartz crystal, but it's quartz. It just didn't crystallize into um, the normal formations that we see. Um, this is quartz crystal within a geode. I got this from my granddad. Uh, he has a bunch of stuff. Went to him to get some quartz crystal. I found this at a rock shop, and these these are quartz crystal uh, with purple in it, and I forget what that is called right now. But uh, this is that. Um, so these are you, these are uh, quartz that you could just find out in your front yard, probably. And this is what I wanted to find. When I was in Arizona, I found this out there, uh, but you could basically go out in your front yard or something and and find stuff like this in River Rock or whatever it is. But you could do, just do your own little test and then you'll be able to see exactly what it does. You can either scrape it like this. You can see the little uh, little um, charges in there that happen when you grind them together and you can also knock them it's not going to be easy to see that but but you could grind them together like that so <clears throat> this is the technology in this so basically it just knocks it creates that electric charge and then you get a spark at the end so the technology works so you could even test this on your own and just see oh yeah it does work it is true so uh, this is not like this this is flint and steel but it's not the same thing when you're seeing that light up it's not a spark it's a electrical discharge and you could see some videos online to see why that happens but basically the crystal, all the molecules in there, already the structure in there already has a positive and negative charge on the molecules. Uh, but it's neutralized because it has a positive and negative charge. But when you disturb it and put stress on it, then it disturbs the molecules and then it, uh, it disturbs the neutralized molecules and then it uh, emits emits the charge that's already in it so that's the basic idea of what that is um, so you that's the concept and this is something that they don't really teach everybody but you could test it out for yourself what I want to get into is how do you continue to extract electricity from it we know that you could elect you could extract electricity uh, from it uh, by knocking on it once and then it creates a spark but I was thinking what if you put mechanical stress on it like a vice um, and and put stress on it and would it create electrical charge 
I was further thinking uh, if you can create electrical charge um, and then cause and then loop that back around to make it vibrate and and create more electrical charge why couldn't you loop it and create more charge so that'll be the further experiments that, uh, that I'm going to do and I'm only going to experiment on things that you could test out on your own I'm not going to just create something that's hard to test on your own because you could um, it, it's not easy to find videos that are actually truthful because they I know that um, they don't want information like this getting out because what if you can uh, figure this out on your own and start powering your own house like the guy was saying in the video and and not have to rely on the grid at all so there's a there's a great deal of motivation uh, to to not get that information out there but if you just do some deductive reasoning that uh, this piezo piezoelectric qualities in these crystals are actually true so mechanical stress causes an electrical charge and electrical charge causes mechanical stress so that that's the idea and uh, we'll get further into that but uh, with my uh, collection here I have Epsom salts some people use that in their batteries um, I was gonna get some Rochelle salts I haven't gotten those yet but some people use Epsom salts uh, in a mixture this is tourmaline I didn't know what tourmaline was before and I that same rock shop that I got these quartz crystals I I just walked up to the store owner and I said do you have any tourmaline and he's like oh yeah we got plenty of it so this basically looks like coal but it has um, it's formed in a crystal like way and it, uh, th I think there's different um, colorations of it uh, but this is tourmaline and so this is the next step down from Rochelle salts this is this is brittle I broke this piece off uh, it is pretty brittle um, but it's probably tougher than the uh, Rochelle salts so I bought some of this this wasn't too expensive I think this is like five bucks I mean if you could find this out somewhere in the in the wild <laughs> then uh, you know that'd be good on you but I just thought well I, I want to experiment so it's worth five bucks and to get that chunk um, this just uh, rocks outside your house you could start immediately with that and just experiment I remember as a kid I would throw these on the ground and it would light up and and I thought that was interesting I didn't understand what it was what was happening but I always thought it was like the flint and steel thing but it's actually uh, causing that electrical charge to go off um, I did get some iron pyrite and I and I know that uh, John Hutchison in those videos he he's used iron pyrite uh, he's crushed it down or whatever to um, put in his little mixture of Epsom salts or Rochelle salts and uh, I think he called it like doping it up so I guess it intensifies it a little bit but I, I got some of that just to just to experiment with that put some more put some uh, iron pyrite in there so th this is what I've got so far I'm going to get bigger quartz crystals probably for my granddad uh, he's gonna be looking for them and this is what I want the most there's a bigger crystal right here inside this thing but I want to at least get a piece that big or a couple pieces that big because then I'll be able to experiment more but um, maybe bigger ones than these but if you uh, want to experiment on your own with this stuff maybe get ahead of me I don't know but this is something that I'm gonna start with and this first experiment you could do on your own and just confirm that it's true and 
then we can go from there. And so stay tuned, stay tuned for more videos about this as I progress along, as I find out more. And as I learn, uh, I'll share it. Um, and if you know more than I do about this, then I want this information out there circulating. And if I ever make anything successful, I'm just going to share it with everybody so you can make it on your own. I don't have enough time to like try to um, do everything on my own and, and try to sell it or whatever. I don't have time. We, we don't have time in this world right now. So we, we got to just find out this stuff, get up to speed as fast as possible with this um, science stuff and get it common knowledge around us so we can just make it. I would love for us to have those microwave size uh, zero point energy creators just like the guy was saying on the video uh, and so we don't have to rely on anything and you know whatever the whatever comes our way whatever turbulent thing if the economy crashes uh, if our power is shut off or whatever uh, we could be on top of it we could have these inventions going and circulating around so people won't have to uh, go through all this you know horrible experiences that uh, even death because we don't have power throughout the winter or something like that so that's my motivation I want people to benefit from this so as I continue to learn more I'll share it